Hello, and thanks so much for your recent purchase of Dr. Drone. Here, I want to show you some of the basic features to get you going. Now, this app may look daunting, but it packs a real punch with the accessibility and the features that you can utilize. For now, let's just keep it basic. Dr. Drone is really great for anyone that wants to use pitch and time as a reference at the same time. So if you want to have a drone playing while you have a metronome running, this is the perfect app for you. In order to do that, what we're going to have to do is create a drone. So there's a little cursor or white dot that should show you where my finger is going. And the first thing you're going to want to look for is this, screen, this uh, box up here that says tap here or the pencil below to add some notes. The pencil below refers to this down here. Either way, it's going to take you to this screen. On this screen, you'll see that there's a whole bunch of notes. Let's just add a B flat for now, just for fun. So I click on that, and boom, a B flat pops up here. For now, that's all we're going to do. You can write little melodies and little bass lines and little chord progressions later. For now, let's just do a B flat. We'll come down here, and close it out. So now you'll notice that up here, there is a B flat listed. And what that means is this is going to play the drone B flat. If you look at the tempo, it's currently at 118 beats a minute. We'll just leave that where it is. But you can just toggle up and down. It's a simple slider. All right, now it's on 109. We'll leave it at 109. Over here, you'll notice that it has beats, and it says eight beats. That means we're going to hear eight beats of 109 beats a minute, and it's going to be a B flat drone. In order to hear the metronome, we are going to have to go down here and click this little button. This little, it looks like a little metronome icon. Click that. It turns green, and that means that we're going to hear the beep of the metronome. Down here, there's a little flag. You'll notice it says zero. The default, when you open the app the first time, I think is on four. So it'll look like this. That means that there's going to be four beats before the B-flat drone starts up. So let's go down here. We'll hit play. And there you have it. Eight beats of 109 beats a minute with a B-flat drone, and there's four beats of intro. So if we decide to go and get rid of those four beats of intro, let's do that now. So we'll go into there. It says count off number of beats. Let's just toggle that all the way down to zero. Hit the OK button. And now you'll notice that next to that little flag icon, it says zero. That means there's going to be no intro beats. Once we hit play, it's going to start up. Let's say you want more than eight beats. Let's say you want to just practice and warm up and play some B-flat scales and some Remington and some other things. And you just want to have a B-flat drone running in the background to use as a pitch reference. There's a couple ways to do this. First way is come down here and you see these two rounded arrows that look like a circle? That refers to the repeat function. So let's just click on that. It should turn green. And then right here you'll notice it pops up. It says on repeat. This information refers to the way it will repeat. There's a lot of options, but for now let's not touch that and let's just have it just repeat like it says. Great, so now we've got a metronome tempo with a B-flat drone running. Some of us might want to use this for practicing uh, and warming up. There are a couple of things that we can do from here, but we're going to put that in subsequent videos. Hope this helps get you started. Thanks.